Welcome to The Buzz, the weekly show with everything you need to know about the AIC Yellow Jackets. I'm your host, Seth Dusalt, and we've got so much more than just wins to cover on this week's edition. And that's because this weekend was Hall of Fame weekend. The Yellow Jackets added nine individuals and two teams to the Hall's membership with representation across a wide range of sports. And while all of the athletes from seasons past drew great cheers for their accomplishments, one managed to add to her list right on the stage. Women's soccer legend Allison Fitzsimmons was inducted, then turned around to see her boyfriend on one knee with a ring in his hand. Happy to report that she said yes. If you want to see the whole ceremony again, it's available right on the AIC YouTube page. With that, we'll move on to the scores and we'll begin on the soccer pitch where the men faced a challenging week. Assumption was 6-1-0 and and St. Anselm was 5-2-0. When they headed into Springfield, in both cases, they left with another loss on their record. The Yellow Jackets pounded the Greyhounds 4-1 thanks in large part to Derek Pereira's two-goal, one-assist showing, and then dunked the Hawks 2-0 with Connor Hicks and Steven Karayas landing shots to back Ben Taylor's second shutout of the year. The women also stifled their opposition. AIC sank St. Michael's 3-0 thanks to Olivia Seuss's shutout and goals from Nicole Gambaroni, Michaela Bigard, and Josephine Stendhal. The women face Bridgeport and St. Anselm Tuesday and Saturday, respectively, on the road, while the men head to St. Michael's in southern New Hampshire on Wednesday and Saturday as well. Field hockey split a pair of games. The Yellow Jackets won 3-1 at home over Mercy, as Dutch natives Kirsten Snethlock and Sophie Schulpen landed all three tallies, including this amazing high arc shot by the rookie, but fell 4-0 in a battle at number 3 St. Anselm. They're home for two this week, Wednesdays against St. Michael's at 4 o'clock and Saturday against Stonehill at 1 o'clock. We promised you that the volleyball team would wake up and it looks like they have, based on big wins over Southern Connecticut and Adelphi this week. AIC went to the Nutmeg State last Tuesday and landed a 3-1 win before coming home to blast Adelphi 3-0. Sarah Lowry racked up 30 kills and Andrea Sarah added 24 plus 33 digs in the two victories. They head to St. Rose Tuesday and then host Pace on Saturday afternoon at 1. Football faced off at Stonehill on Saturday, and while the Skyhawks took the win 31-13, the day was not without highlights for the Yellow Jackets. Witness Keith Jackson getting his side on the board early in the second frame, taking a pick six to the house, 46 yards for the score. Chase Speller landed the other touchdown for AIC on a rush from the two. The Yellow Jackets have a bye week this week. Tennis had three tough matches this week. They fell 7-0 at LeMoyne on Tuesday. Played strong in a 4-3 setback at St. Michael's Saturday and a 5-2 defeat at St. Anselm on Sunday. Mary Jimeno Vicente and Michaela Johnson each earned two wins at first and second singles, respectively. Team also took the doubles point against the Purple Knights with Sophie Roberge and Jordan Isaac landing a 6-2 win after the top duo won 6-1. They closed the 2019 season Wednesday at Adelphi. Women's rugby suffered a 33-24 setback against Queens College of Charlotte. Jemiah Hawkins had two tries. Cassidy Pothier landed two conversions. They'll compete Saturday at LIU at 1 o'clock. Three teams that were off last week get back out there this week. Men's cross country is at the New England Championship in Boston Saturday. The women head to Westfield for the James Early Invitational that same day. And our ice hockey team is back to begin its AHC title defense. They're opening out of conference at Quinnipiac Friday night on ESPN3 at 7 o'clock before returning to the Mass Mutual Center the following night at 7.05 p.m. for the first time since their playoff win over Army back in March. Season tickets are still on sale at AIC.edu slash hockey tickets, so grab yours today. Speaking of hockey, all throughout October, the hockey team and the baseball team will be raising money for the American Cancer Society through the ACS's Real Men Wear Pink campaign. The funds will go to research into breast cancer treatment, and if you want to help, visit the ACS website, cancer.org, or the links on the baseball and ice hockey pages on AICYellowJackets.com or on social media to donate to the cause. We'll move on to our Athletes of the Week. It's always a tough choice, but the wins this week go to Sarah Lowry of Volleyball and Ben Taylor of Men's Soccer. Lowry was dominant on the court for two big wins over the top NE10 squads, and Taylor allowed just one penalty kick goal in two tough games. So that's the buzz, but before we go, some congratulations to give out academically. Our softball team had seven players named the Easton NFCA Academic All-America team for the 2019 campaign, while women's soccer earned a team academic award from United Soccer Coaches. AI committed in the classroom as well as on the field. Congratulations to both squads. We also want to remind you to keep your ears open for the next edition of the Yellow Jacket Experience. 
That podcast will be coming your way soon. And until that, I'm Seth Dusalt, the voice of the Yellow Jackets, signing off. Go Jackets.